There's nothing wrong with losing my name twice, but I come first, then carry on last or even third. Ali, I'll move it back and forth. Yeah, oh. the same GTA 5. If I had a choice, you'll die like Trevor. Uh. I don't know about the sixth time, but the seventh it is whatever. It's half past and I barely ate. Hey. I think about nine, I'm missing my slime, he's looking at ten. Attempted a murder again, he's up in that prison with most of my friends. When we was eleven, we said fuck twelve, we're cutting from them. It's numbers when I blow on tree, she asking you the one for me. DTP since I hit fifteen, sixteen stepping consistently. Resided in the 017, hit felt on just before eighteen. Half my age would have been one nine. Long time since I lost the fight, now I'm like forty going on twenty. Advance, I can't deny. FIFA and I'm up two one, and it ain't even hit half time. Half part. Two two, then two three, Freeman, I'm not surprised. Twenty four seconds for me to dump him quick. Now he's looking at twenty five. To life, by twenty six can't be in a mix. Used to bore Galactic. If you put me in a room with a mic, I'm burning up. I'm the rapper named T Twice, I think, from United Kingdom. He says his name is Twice, but I come out first, which I thought was very, very cool and interesting to all the random ideas and all the random thoughts that I bring into the, you know, to the decodes to see um, if I could get in any inspiration. Using music, movies, and moods, let's see how the market moves. I like to utilize intuition and take random things and see if I can relate them to my decodes. It's like grabbing a random book and reading a random line from a random page and retrieve some information and turn it into inspiration. I can get a sense on what structure I want my decode to go. So I appreciate if you comment, if you like this style, and I hope that it's not too confusing, but I know we are super decoders and here, so I shouldn't see a problem I'm trying to be innovative and trigger intuition. Let's begin. All is number 45 redu in reduction and 72 in the reversed. <clears throat> In the reverse reduction cipher, Bitcoin matches 45 and 72 in the Gematria cipher. All is numbered by Pythagoras. So let's start with that. The pyramid. Pyramid is equal to 21 in the Chaldean. I'm beginning to see the strong co correlation between the number 21 and helping us discover the mysteries, just like uncovering the mysteries of this world-renowned epic. The building of the greatest mathematical structure on Earth. Right? So the world card, the world card is 21. So you see this familiarity to the number 21, the world card that I've been mentioning in my last decodes, right? The 21st card right here, the world. It's a 21st card in the major arcana, very important one through or zero through 21. Zero being uh, the one to 21 would be the world card, okay? Some people use the use the zero as a 22nd card the fool also the wreath can be symbolized as success and achievements but also be looked at as a portal to the incarnations the four fixed signs that i've been mentioning that are very very important okay so the money bitcoin and world equals 72 see the importance of why my guys brought us to this card right so are we seeing it's it's a card of well, first of all, the cycles completed are astrologically. You have from Aquarius to right here, you have the bull Taurus to Leo and back to Scorpio here with the eagle represented as the Scorpio or the eagle or the Phoenix, right? So these are four seasons here, the four fixed signs, okay? The stabilizers, are we seeing the completion of the yearly cycles? I mentioned that in my earlier videos from Aquarius into the bull Taurus. We have seen the bullish posture for BTC and the markets overall. Now, what does the bull into the lion do? Or a Taurus into Leo have his store, more bullish posture, sideways action. Stick with me and let's determine this together. So we already mentioned this. Bitcoin equals to 72, but you have some a lot of similarities here too. The relationship is of dire importance to deciphering this mark and how they make or react in the four seasons or the four fixed signs, the tetramorph. Bitcoin money world equals 72 in their respective ciphers. 72 written out in the calculator is equal to 102 or 12 is just 21 in reverse. That's very interesting because we only have 21 million Bitcoin in the world. Okay, so that's 72 written out in the Gematria calculator equal to 102 equals 12. 12 in reverse is 21. 
21 divided by 4 is 5.25 furthermore we get that 55 or 25 right 55 coming from satoshi nakamoto and 25 for btc in the calculator now we get go full circle around the world right because 322 right here written out let's see what it is they see that you see the 322 is tied to the number 55 like satoshi like i mentioned before and one important number in the fibonacci sequence and of course the word fibonacci equals to 55 in the gematria calculator how about that that's fire five and five equals ten is one of the perfect numbers along with six okay so you see the importance of three two two okay so we have here 322 the skull and bones the brotherhood of death death equals to 38 in the ordinal and 38 is linked to the bottom is in in the calculator 38 the synchronistic number that has been showing up intensely in my work into 2023 death is equal to a 110 in the primes tied to 11 boaz and joaquin the left and right hands the black and white pillars conscious and subconscious right so 11 or the second tarot card the high priestess which you see here is very important because she's tied to the sacred knowledge 11 is also the master number found in the number 65 another synchronistic number for this year in my decodes the 11th number 11th prime number is 31 and 1 3 january 3rd is btc's birthday the number in reverse is 13 the 13th card in the tarot is the death card just like how you see here in this skull right the importance of these numbers and how they correlate so you see here that 11 right the 11 where well, the second card but right now it's the two uh, in numerals the ii right the one one so you see the emotion tied to these numbers and obviously 11 being charismatic and an emotional number. It deals with the divine feminine. 322, the number of the skull and bones, tied to the number seven, added up. It's just like this year, 223, 2023. Let's look further. So why is the 322 important in this case? Because Yale turned 322 years old this year, right? They were found, um, the Skull and Bones were founded in Yale University. 1701, it was a snake year. Snake equals to 31 in reverse reduction cipher. 31 is tied to the words finances, default, debt, respectively, in the Gematria ciphers. You see the superficial de debt you see the superficial debt that is being talked about so much today because our elected officials cannot handle debt and we are seeing the debt ceiling crisis all being played out like a sock puppet show debt also tied to the number 23 tied to mercury and btc bitcoin and the gematria both of these words mercury and bitcoin are equal to 23 creating money out of thin air like jordan always says in his videos jordan from waters above crypto or waters above you can check him out here on youtube very he's a good mentor of mine when it comes to deciphering the markets so the mercurial way of doing things right mercury obviously ruling the air fast moving the air like 23 found the number jordan who flew in the air he ruled the air you could say right next snake year is 2025 by the way another nine universal year just like 1701 right once one plus seven plus one right is nine just like the founding date we will take note of that for future decodes okay hermes being the mythical god known as mercury just like the gemini the the double one right in gemini the symbol the ast astrological symbol is has that ii or that roman numeral whatever um 11 i mean two right which is the 11 doesn't break down because it's a master number Hermes, the trickster and thief look how many steals jordan had so this is jordan J uh, michael jordan's all-time right steal or whatever steals records you see the numbers right there again to the 255 or that 55 five five right one plus four you get that five or five um or two it's basically two fifty fives right fifty five fifty five and fifty five is related to what to the words god and satan so toshi nakamoto and fibonacci right 23 also tied to the word chart 
the word char in the gematria would equal which equals to 23 in the reduction cipher like we said tied to mercury and bitcoin 23 tied to jordan's jersey number tied to mercury in the chaldean cipher so you have that 25 14 added up to 75 or 57 in reverse you'll get tied to the moon right moon in the gematria ordinal is 57 moon is also 23 in the chaldean very important because we see how bitcoin may be ruled by the moon cycles so now we can steal this and i'm not talking about stealing that expensive as Hermes bag the bag that we we're talking about the bag we earn is the knowledge that bitcoin is run by mercury moon mars and they are all they are all 13 letter 13 letter m words by the way right so in conjunction with the planets the markets are discovered through the golden ratio the golden ratio moon and blockchain right very important ties to the number 57 because we just had our 57th super bowl also just to correlate that correlate a little bit of sports right we've been doing that all year and five and seven is 12 or 21 in reverse beautiful so I hope you are with me so far on covering this knowledge in real time. Comment anything important you saw or something that you want to add to this decode. I appreciate all of you subscribers and people that keep the little algo continuum going, the little bit of algo that I do receive. So right here, we got Lux at Veritas. This is uh, Yale's motto here. Okay, Lux et Veritas. Lux meaning light and Veritas meaning truth. Veritas related to the Spanish word verdad, meaning truth. And most importantly, truth is equal to 21 in the Chaldean cipher. Look at that. The motto is connected to 21 also, or being because of truth, right? Veritas. And we have that 72 because we always mention money, world, and Bitcoin. Okay, so Yale, Yale's. The 322nd commencement, the bachelorette and class day was on May 21st. Look at that. And it's so funny that it has uh, the event time at 12 a.m. <laughs> I don't know if that was a mistake or they just left it there. 2-1, tw that you got that 12 again, that 21. And this took place, the letters are kind of small here, but you got that 6511, that 1111 in the zip code. You got that Yale equals 65, and even the zip code has 65 in it combined 651111, right? 6, 5, 6 plus 5, 11, right? So Yale Divinity, right? You have Yale Divinity information equals 65 in reduction, cipher and 33 in the Chaldean, 33 tied to the 33 vertebrae the master teacher master influencer number skull equals 33 12 reverse of 21 okay so you have that also in the gematria right so you have 17 tied to gold and the star card so skull right we get that from the skull and bones has these very important numbers right so this society or this secret society as they say not so much secret anymore right so you get 17 types of gold and the star card that's all from the gematria cipher 33 12 and 17 skull is tied to the moon skull you was used as a cup in the primitive times to drink out of they didn't have cups <laughs> right so they had to use the shape of the sea the sea is the curve shape of the moon okay and tied to freedom in the reverse reduction cipher for for freedom right Okay, so also you get leg down and market cycle are equal to 33 in the Chaldean cipher. Super, super important. So take notes of that. Okay, so what's the distance between New Haven, Connecticut and New York City? We have here 69. We mentioned that as above, so below the yin and yang here, right? The distance between New Haven, Connecticut and New York City is approximately six miles or 111 kilometers, right? Very important number 69 and 11. We get these scores, the final game between the Lakers and the Nuggets, and they got swept here. Okay, 04 to 40111 again. And then you get that 113. We've been seeing this a uh, lot play out in these numbers. And this is my intuitive reading for the game tonight as we speak if i'm wrong i'm wrong i posted it in the waters above uh discord sports gematria 
If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I had to like put this out. The series is tied 3-3 between my Miami Heat and Boston Celtics. So the, the Boston Celtics have come all the way back, having started on the Eastern Conference Finals. By losing three straight games against the Miami Heat, they scored three consecutive wins, giving them a chance to become the first team in NBA history to come back an 0-3 series deficit. Okay, Boston will become first franchise in history to do that. 38 right here. This is an intuitive card. I just use two cards, one for each. Make it very simple. You got the Miami Heat. They got the Chariot and the Boston Celtics got the Two of Cups. So that's the 38th card. And we know we've been talking about so much about the 38 dealing with LeBron's uh, scoring record, 38,808 points. LeBron being 38, I think, in the Gematria. He was 38 years of age. So many connections to the number 38 this year. And then the Super Bowl 38-35, which the Kansas City Chiefs took that, right? 38-35, they won that game. They won the championship. So the Two of Cups is the right here. The Two of Cups, the love, love, attraction. But what it means, love and attraction, right? So Boston may have the winning cups in their hands. That's the way I'm intuitively seeing these cards play out. Number. So we have here the number of the year versus. Um, we have the number seven, which is the number of the year. Okay, the chariot card. And they have the seventh card, the chariot, right? So it means divine forces. They're gonna get a big push. This, but it's gonna, it's not gonna be easy for Boston tonight. So Miami has the drive, the car. We are in a universal seven year. Okay, Boston Celtics. The B looks like a thirteen, right? If we sell it, separate this line and from these curves, that one and three, right? And you get the C, right? The three, the third letter. Okay, you get that 13-3 in their initials in Miami Heat, right? They have the M, right? But you get that 13-8, okay? That 138. Okay, very, very important here. The 38th card with them with the initials 13-8. It's gonna be down to the end, down to the last seconds, I feel. Because this is also a positive card, but I'm still going in favor of Boston because of the of these numbers here, okay? Just because they <laughs> the 38 tied to LeBron, even though LeBron, he got swept. You know, he got swept. He got he got canceled. So game starts at 830, right? The reverse of whatever, 38. Tina Turner dies this week at 83 years old. 83, right? In reverse of 38. Like I said, Tina Turner equal to 130 in the reverse side for 130 is 13, guys. So very, very much... Uh, happy with this decode so this is beautiful i see the celtics winning um may 28th today's uh the 2023 equal to 22 22 as the as the master number master builder the architecture architect number here okay so let's see how it plays out the eight like we mentioned earlier and as above so below number right heaven and hell right the window the top window and the below window right the bottom window as they say right so written written is equal to the number 31 here see that okay you got that matching 31 we'll take a look at that in a second very important to the word chart because that's what we do we try to decipher also ch by charting right using trading analysis so i thought that was very very interesting and eight is tied obviously to money and power okay that so that's what we're doing here charting the waters right waters above waters below great choice of words for jordan's channel i love it full circle again 21 and 23 7 and 6 Right, you got that seven six right equal to seven plus six thirteen reverse of thirty one. So that's interesting how they kind of correlate in a way, and it's not so obvious. But you also get that twenty one again in waters. So isn't that what we've been speaking about this whole time? The twenty one of importance. We're in a seven year. Seven times three is twenty one. Okay, so Miami he got that seventh card. Right, we got that 38, the three eights, right? Which means like in the angel numbers, if you want to look at it that way, it means prosperity and abundance. Okay. So we have it starting from the zero. I have been the fool, the risk taker. 
this is me you can make fun of me if you want and the adventure incorporating the spirit to gain knowledge and how to navigate the charts using my puppy right here so I hope you can forgive any mistakes, but I trust that I will give you some type of order in my findings in the chart. So let's take the plunge. And before we do, we see the importance tied to the world, money and Bitcoin here, right? We always mention this, the 72, the number 72. And thanks for Duke Doobie for posting this. And you know, um, I believe he posted in Sacred Folio, his own private, um, private discord. Um, hit him up if you want to join. Um, I think it's, it's it's pretty good because he you know he has a, a good eye for numbers and ge geometry and the like. He's been doing some slamming effects with. He's been doing. He's been on a roll with you know AMC of course and all these things tied to the market. He did a Pepe video. Go check out his Rumble. So he says here we find number 7.2 hitting the square root of the slope angle of the Great Pyramid of Giza, the most magnificent structure humans have ever built. The square root of 51.84 and 51, by the way, is moon and Mars in the Gematria. So 51.84 is equal to 7.2 degrees. OK, and this is very important. Also, the base length of the square in Da Vinci's Vertuvian man is 7.2 inches, while the top length of the square is 7.0.71. OK, so we see the importance All the all of the above establishes the paramount position of number 72, as well as all of its fractals, 7.2, 72, 720 and et cetera, et cetera. So we saw the importance tied to the world, big money and Bitcoin equals to 72. Now 72 times two is equal to 144, okay? And that's a special number of mine, and this, especially as part of the Fibonacci sequence. Special thanks. So you see the, the importance of uh, 140, 144 divided by 72, okay? very very important in the fibonacci sequence so i'm giving a special thanks to do doobie find him on rubble like i said before as da vinci decoder i believe he's all do as duke doobie at duke doobie uh on twitter also um he helped me to connect to nexus blade runner follow him also he has his chart here nexus blade runner nxs nxs underscore blade runner on twitter please follow this guy he's a who is he? he's a fibonacci trader using applied geo mathematics 0 0.236 1.618 2.618 .618, maxi he says and he uses no stop loss this guy's incredible so if you're interested in the, this type of thesis please give him and duke a follow on twitter and tell him at decode underscore 144 that's my twitter uh, he tell him i sent you I would highly appreciate it. So after seeing him chart in real time and some meetings we had, I was mesmerized and couldn't unsee it. I couldn't unsee it again. It got stuck in my head forever sending me to this new territory of Fibonacci and geo math application and charting geo mathematics. Never thought I would be here, but I am. Let's check out some charts here. So I want to leave you with this. I just started doing this, mapping it out, you know, using the Fibonacci circles. This is on the 31 minute chart, which I think is amazing. Helps me out um, to visualize, you know, some some time frames and obviously using that 31, 55, 144. As you see there on top, I'm really trying to work with these numbers. Um, I want to see if you guys have been working with these numbers, the Fibonacci numbers at all in your in your trading or in your charting okay so i'm i'm pretty new to this you know i've been looking at charts like for the last part of like two years two and a half years but never like this you know what i mean so if you can see here this is why it's so so beautiful what it's doing with this outer exterior ring here today as we speak bitcoin is trading at twenty eight thousand, coming from you know from 26 you know, struggling over here, 26 back and forth and reaching that 27 level. OK, but what's so amazing about this is that not only were we getting 28,000 Bitcoin, we're on the 28th day, guys. And what I've been saying all year, 28 is the number of wealth, right? The two eights number of wealth. 
I told you eight is the money and power. Bill Gates born on the 28th. Elon Musk born on the 28th. Many people that if there are a 28 or 28 life path might become wealthy or abundant. Just saying you can connect this. Look at this. How beautiful on the 28th. We look at what we're seeing. All these green candles here coming up. See this? You can't make this stuff up. Okay. And the funny thing is just to connect it before I go. Um, you know, the levels here, like if we see Bitcoin go up to like 32, let's say, you know, you know where we headed, you know, we're going, we're going far with this one to so 32, 33, right? But it has a little bit ways to go. But the way I'm um, deciphering this portal here or this black sun, like uh, Duke and Nexus like to call this here, like it's being sucked in, right? But on these outer rings, look what Bitcoin was doing, right? It was just stepped into these like outer rings into more of like this uh, second to last ring or something more or less. I hope you can see it. You could follow with me. Um, so you see how it just it was going through this channel here and kind of broke down to this purple line here. Exact and went back right back into the rings. So it did kind of like a, as above, so below kind of deal where it's, you know, it traded in like at an angle, right? Traded down into this ring, right? And look how we're coming up right as it touches the outer ring. Look what it does It maxes out. I mean, it, it pumps, you know, it, 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 it gives us another structure here, right? Like this microstructure here, microstructure here into this $28,000 level just today. That's amazing. And the funny thing is just to add in the last, last thing before I go, the Boston Celtics, the last time they won was 2008. So you get that 28, which is, is hilarious. Will they win? Will they win the championship? That'll be freaking funny. They're playing the nuggets. The nuggets are tied to gold. Um, the Lakers beat golden state. So you see how that you have that gold today. And gold broke down to like $1,900 level after that game, May 22nd, pumped up a little bit, came back down. But just to show you that like these numbers and how is, is, is more, is like, it can't be any type of coincidence. I just wanted to share that with you. Hope you like my chart, by the way, and look at where Bitcoin might, might, might top off, I feel. Let's see if we go back to this uh, ring here. Okay, so that one did come out at slope also. So this might even break out to this outer ring up here, hitting maybe like that 2936 or 366 level, maybe. Okay, maybe by correct here around this curve. But let's see, I'm new to this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, follow at NXS underscore Blade Runner. I'll put the links. In the description, follow Duke Doobie on Twitter, also on Rumble. I think, believe he's on uh, as Da Vinci decoded. He also has a uh, Discord, right? It's uh, a sacred folio, and I'm a part of it. Divine is a part of it. Many members of the Waters Above Wolfpack are part of it. But I appreciate all of you, and I hope you enjoyed this. More to come, more to come. I got some stuff uh, ready and lined up for July. And August, very, very good things related to the movies again. And some things that I'm seeing for sure, for sure, for September and November. Okay, so let's see what pops off. Oh, I wish you the best here in, you know, in trading land. You know what I'm saying? Trading, <laughs> trading the planets, tra trading the, the solar system here, right? So I always thank you for being positive having zero expectations and being open to my work, to my art, to my, to my passions here. I got new music coming out too. So be on the lookout for that. There's a folder live in the library there. You can check out label music, some tracks that I did throughout the year, you know, through the inspiration of, you know, doing this whole alchemy in my life is, has brought me toward here after uh, my father's death in 2022. So I'm grateful, so grateful to be here. I thank you so much and yo rock out. I hope you, you know, whatever you're doing in the, in, in, 
in the markets right now shorting longing whatever i hope you're super successful at it and if this video helped you out in some sort of way you know what to do please comment share like and subscribe y'all all right peace